APT Jamie here and today where we're going to work on where we're going to work on some storage boxes as you saw I was gonna I'm gonna use these for uh, my ink pads I do believe so I could take them off the top of my desk in that box up there put them in these storage boxes and then set them in the top of the Roscog, Roscog Ikea cart and take all the washi tape in the top and put it up there in the box up there because I'm more inclined to use the ink than the washi. So yeah, that's the plan, man. So I picked these boxes up at uh, Daiso down off of Westheimer in H-Town. That would be Houston. So, any hooties. So I'm sanding it off and it's got these little sticky outy parts so I'm trimming that with the uh, craft knife and just sanding uh, the you know splintery kind of stuff and smoothing off the corners and junk because I don't want them to be overly sharp and they tend to be sharp y'all just saying these boxes were $1.50 a piece so good deal y'all good deal I don't remember the uh, measurement off the top of my head with the voiceover, but it will be in the description box below, along with a list of all the ingredients I used on this project. So this is matte medium, and we're going to smear it around on the inside, and I do only put one coat, didn't I, or did I put a second, I might have put a second coat, y'all, but didn't film it. So anyway, I worked on this project over a couple few days because you got to allow it some drying, y'all. There's some things you got to just let it dry. And Higgin is, is um, well, I did use it. I just didn't film the part where I was using it, but Higgin. <laughs> so any hoots. We got the inside. Now we're doing the outside. Okay. It's kind of hard to do both at the same time-ish, sort of, mostly. Well, my phone laying over there is causing a little glare going on. Anyway, it is just matte medium, Liquitex matte medium. And the inside and the outside is dry, so now we're going to do the bottom. And I have four of these boxes, y'all, just in case you was counting four of them. I uh, don't show you... Uh, all of them, although I apparently seem to be showing you the bottom of this one. Now this is some kind of tape. <laughs> I don't know what kind of tape it is. I picked it up at the ties of for a dollar fifty, y'all. Um, and I'm closing off the inside portions of where all those cracks and openings are, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to paint, and I'm picking out three brushes because I'm using three colors. And uh, in the end, I end up just using one brush and going back and forth between the colors just because it was just more easier that way. Mm-hmm. Because remember now, I have to do this four times. Four times each because each box has four sides. So, yeah, I'm not going to do the math. Feel free to do the math, Jean. I do use a ruler in this project towards the end. And there will be a short photo montage. So there we are, just smooshing out what was left in the brush because, you know, we don't need any moose poop. And uh, just smearing around the colors. I don't know, one's a purple, one's a turquoise, and one's a light turquoise. And um, the colors make me happy. I could have sanded. Yes, I could have sanded all those words off or cover them up, but I didn't really think I needed to on account of that's just going to add some interest perhaps in the background if it shows through and you're going to have to get up real close and personal to, um, to see if it comes through because I didn't check to see if it comes through. It must have been a hair, dog hair, molly hair, champ hair, who knows. Who knows? Could have been one of mine, too. Could have been a paintbrush here. Now we're just going to do the edge. Mm -hmm. And any erroneous scratching you hear that sounds like dog claws on the 
glass door. That's exactly what it is. So now that was all nice and dry and we're sanding off because when you put stuff paint wet any kind of thing like that on top of wood it will make the fibers the natural fibers in the wood swell up and stick out again so if you want to be a real good wood, wood finisher you put a layer of your wet stuff on let it dry sand it off put another layer of your wet stuff let it dry sand it off. that's yeah i'm an okay woodworker person so now we're pulling off the tape from the inside. You'll notice in a minute that I don't pull it off the next one I'm going to be stamping on, and that's just because I'm like, well, I'm just going to keep stamping, and then I'll pull the tape off in a minute because it really didn't matter. And I don't know who these stamps is by off the top of my head, but once again, click on the word more to see more, which includes a list of the ingredients used in this project like the stamps and the ink and the paint colors and you know junk like that project made me happy even though it took a few days because you know let it dry <laughs> let it dry so now we're going to put some circles on now that the ink is dry and i think pretty sure i put on a coat of matte medium after the ink but before these here paint circles and I've got two different size lids and I'm using white with this particular lid mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see the black lid laying over there just to the right of my hand sort of on the right side we're gonna put a different color with that one we're gonna use this here light colored turquoise mm -hmm. Please don't bother telling me how I'm mispronouncing stuff because, you know, it's part of my fun. <laughs> oh, if you don't want to listen to me, you are free to turn the volume off. Mm -hmm. And if you want to speed up or slow down the video, mm -hmm, hover over the screen, a little gear will come up and that will give you, you different speed choices. But fair warning, I'm going to sound extra special if you speed me up or slow me down and that can be quite entertaining take my word for it <laughs> so i put uh that fuchsia royal magenta i'm not sure what pink that is magenta e pinky on a piece of uh, packaging acetate stuff and wet it down and now I'm just smooshing it around on the outside of the box and on this particular box I actually got a little bit on the inside and that's the only box I got the little bit on the inside from so I'm doing this for all four boxes and uh, where you see me dobbling off with my paint rag I am just dobbling off some of it and yes portions of this video is incredibly crazy sped up mm -hmm. so that's all nice and dried overnight y'all I've decided I want to put crackle just in parts so I got out my crackle medium whatever brand that is description box y'all and I'm smooshing it on and it had been brought to my attention that I probably needed to use a bigger brush and a little bit thicker on the uh, crackle stuff to make it actually crackle because I seem to have issues with that truly so there we go and that's what I'm doing and yeah that's what I'm doing um, I had like an hour and a half of filming time and I've got it whittled down to like 20 minutes oh that's a close-up of the crackle I know it's hard to see it's hard to see y'all I'm trying to show you but it's just it's just crazy hard to see okay because crackle medium leaves you shiny and glary but we're gonna put some uh, paint in there with a baby wipe it's a pretty dry baby wipe now you can sort of see the crackle and I know that's a blurry close-up but you know <laughs> it's what it is y'all 
thank you so much for your time and attention to detail. So I'm just going to smoosh that around on all the boxes, on all the crackle spots, and I'm going to lightly brush over with the same baby wipe to remove the excess off the surface areas that I don't want it because I really just want it in the cracks. Yes, I could have used an antiquing color, a black or a brown, but I didn't want to, y'all. This is my project. Do your project the way you want to. So my baby wipe left fuzzies. And once all that was dry, I went over it with a, a stiff brush to knock all the fuzzies off. And it worked really well. Then I put on another coat of matte medium. Mm-hmm. That got nice and dry, and now we're going to add some foil. We're going to do some foiling with this here Prima Planter Glue. Thanks again, Sandra. <laughs> so, anywho, you're better off letting it dry for 30 seconds to a full minute. I didn't, as you can see. That's Molly barking because I'm ignoring her outside, and she doesn't want to be outside anymore. So, anyway, I'm putting the foil with the silver side down, the pretty side facing me, and I'm just smooshing it over there. I am not looking for full coverage. I am looking for exactly what I got here, y'all. Now, the, I also let, once I got all my boxes done, I let this dry overnight, okay? And some spots were still a little sticky from the glue, okay? But that's okay because we're fixing to do the next part in a minute. It's any day now. I didn't use very much foil on this at all. Each box took approximately that same size piece you see me working with, which is maybe a two by, I don't know, six. I don't know how wide that stuff is, y'all. Just saying. My fingers got sticky and the backside there got sticky and it's all good because it just, you know, I was trying to avoid particularly straight lines and I wanted it to look like it had been fancied up one, at one point and then it started rubbing off. So, yeah, that's what I got. Now we're going to put varnish on because it dried overnight, y'all. And I'm putting varnish on. Gloss, that's a gloss varnish. Because if you put anything other than gloss on top of foil, it's not going to look shiny. It just won't. And after I did this, this also dried overnight. Mm -hmm. Maybe even two days. No, I think it was just one, one overnight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make sure I'm getting the edges, and I got around the uh, the little handle finger holder doohickeys there as well, and inside the crack that runs along both the sides. So moving along, oh, I appreciate each and every one of you. I truly do. Mm-hmm. Your likes, your kind comments are amazing and make my head swell up. your subscriptions and if you've not already done so please subscribe and click on the bell so you'll get notifications of new videos and uh, when I go live mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so anywho I was measuring my box because I couldn't remember what it was and this is some um, just some uh, designer scrapbook paper where y'all saw the pad I got it from it'll be in the description box below I'm cutting it down mostly to size yep close enough works for me. Mm -hmm. And in my screen it looks kind of red, but it's more of a pinkish kind, more of a pinky magenta e. And there's some purples in it and there's also a bit of green, so it ties in beautifully in my humble opinion. Mm -hmm. With the uh, paint on the side. And yes, sometimes people forgot forget, forgot to turn off the autofocus on the camera. And that's okay. <laughs> it might be a little weird, but it's okay. So I'm just spraying some water in my little palette right there and just barely getting my brush damp so it will kind of work with the glue because now we're going to smear the glue, Aileen's original tacky glue, all over the bottom of the box because this is the bottom of the box, y'all. 
I want to make sure it gets all the way to the edges. And yes, it probably has just a little too much glue, and that's okay. <laughs> so now let's get our scrapbook designer paper, whatever you want to call it, on there, and we're going to smoosh it around. And smoosh it around. We're going to have some, some glue come out of the edges. And I'm going to get a, a clean, damp, damp, it's barely even damp, y'all, baby wipe over there. I mean, really, just barely, yeah. They're almost gone. There's like maybe five or ten left in the package. And I've already added water to them once. Oh, here's my rolly. I'm going to brayer that out and squishing out uh, excess glue because my paper has had enough time to absorb some of the glue onto it. And now I've got that baby wipe that I'm going to wipe around the edges. Now don't worry if your paper hangs off the edge just a little bit. Let it dry before you attempt to remove any excess paper. Really, it's the best thing you can do. Look at that. I like it. So we're going to do another one, but I think we're going to hurry it up faster. Go more faster, even. <laughs> I must have turned the autofocus off. I don't know. It looked okay that time. Yeah, see? Super fast. Live total action, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if it paused on y'all screen, but it paused on my uh, voiceover screen, so it's nothing I can do about that. It's just the way it goes, y'all. Smooshing it down, going to do the same thing, brayer it out, squishing out any excess glue, junk like that, going to wipe around the edge. Again, if it hangs over just a slight, leave it alone let it dry. Let it dry. And if you cut it too short, it you know, if it's just a little bit too short, don't don't freak out. Now see, we're sticking over the side with the extra paper paper, and I've got an emery board, which is a finger nickel, fingernail file, and we're going to uh, file that off. Otherwise sandpaper it off. But don't use sandpaper because that's really too too much for this kind of a fine thing. And I'm going in one direction. It may look like I'm going back and forth, but I am not. I am going in one direction, and that is down. Because I don't want to go up and risk ripping and pulling the paper up. Even though it's dry, it could still rip off. If there's just the slightest, tiniest of an air bubble under there. So don't do it that way. Go in one direction. Okay? And yes, it's leaving a uh, worn, distressed edge, which is lovely. Mm-hmm. It's lovely. See? Lovely. Uh-uh-uh. You just keep going over it until it gets uh, gets off of there. You don't want to risk leaving a loose edge of paper to get pulled up later. Okay, y'all? So now we're going to ink the edges, and I'm using purple because that's the color I want to pull out. I could have used black. I could have used brown. Any other color. But I wanted to use purples. So that's what I'm using. <laughs> and I'm going all around the edges. And once I get all four boxes done, okay, I hit it with the heat gun because I want to make sure my ink is dry. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Doesn't that look fun? It's so fun. Now that it's all really dry, y'all, dry, we're going to put on a coat of matte medium to seal the paper up. Yes, I could have used the gloss varnish, but I didn't want it to be shiny on the bottom. Just because I didn't, okay? So, and I'm going around the edge so I can seal in the edge that has the ink on it. So, yeah, just sealing that all up. And momentarily, mm -hmm, we're going to have a photo montage ta -da. it looks unshiny here in this these pictures on my screen but in real life that is shiny foil y'all and they make me happy happy little storage boxes happy little storage boxes I appreciate each and every one of you 
If you haven't done so, please subscribe. Share my videos with your friends because they might enjoy watching them too. They might. It could happen. Thanks for watching and happy arting, y'all.